what do you do when your messaging isn't connecting with your dreamy clients? You know, no one's reaching out, your audience is crickets. And is it your offer? Is it your funnel? Do you need visibility? We're talking about all of that today and what to do and really, really dialing in how to figure out what's missing in your messaging. Hey guys, I'm Rachel Weaver, your host of the BU Bay podcast. And today I want to talk about something that has come to some major clarity for me in being able to articulate this process that I have. Oh, and it's a process that I've been working on for mm, three years now. Um, and it's been inside the club working with these beautiful women in there to explain and figure out what's missing in their own messaging so that they can articulate what they do in a more profound way. And it's have created a map that really shows you exactly what's missing when it comes to your messaging and where to even start. And that has been the biggest question. So many it's not about how many years you've had in business. It's, it's really about your ability to connect with your message, connect with who you are, and connect with your ideal client. That's the important piece of this. So you could be in business for five years and still struggling with this. You could be just starting out, right, and wanting to get it right from the get-go and learn from other people. This can help you too. So... How do we even know that our messaging is missing something or it's not connecting? So first and foremost, if you're not getting people reaching out for your offers, if no one is signing up for your service, if no one's reaching out about one to one, if you're not getting you're launching a, uh, a group program and no one's signing up or very few people are signing up, or if you put together like a master class and you get a couple of people to sign up, but no one shows up, right? There's a disconnect in what you're saying and what people are wanting. And you can feel that, right? Because you, you're not getting sales. You're not making money. You're not growing. Like you're just in this kind of stuck place. And when you're in that stuck place, it can lead to questioning if your offer is right, questioning if you're enough, if what you're offering is enough. You're left questioning if you can do this entrepreneur thing at all, right? It's kind of a crappy place to be, and I've been there. Um, and I want I want to create a ladder of a, of a sort that really helps you understand what's missing in your messaging and then how to fix it. Where do you even begin, right? Like, do you start with your website? Do you start with a sales page? Do you Start with a niche. Like, where do you even start in this process to figure out what's gone wrong and what's misaligned? So, the first thing that we need to ask ourselves is do I even understand who I am? And what I mean by this is do I understand how my energy works? Do I understand and trust my authority and how I make decisions? So often I see, and I feel like I was guilty of this as well, of Making a decision to buy a program, but second guessing it and then throwing that onto the program being like, this needs to be, this needs to save me. This needs to save my business. It needs to be the magic bullet. Um, not trusting that I made the, a good decision in buying that program, right? And I think this is so often why we get stuck buying a program and then it doesn't give us results is because we kind of went into it with crappy energy. I'm guilty of it myself, so don't feel bad about it. There's no shame in this, right? But we went into it with this um, idea that if I do their program, right, they're promising me this business, right? And if I do their program, then I will be successful. But it's not always aligned for you, right? So we have to be able to trust ourselves, know what our energy is, and in essence, know our human design, you don't have to know all of the different facets and be an expert in it, but we need to do, we do need to understand our type, our strategy, our authority, and our centers. I really deeply believe that we have to understand what our definition is and what our openness is, where you're undefined and how that plays a role in 
patterns and our beliefs and our mindset, right? So if you don't really trust yourself, if you second guess and overthink your decisions, if you are kind of stuck in that procrastination of like, I want to put this out there, but I don't know. And you're, you're just second guessing everything, right? Human design is your first stop. Um, and inside the Magnetic Messaging Club, I'm putting together a basics of human design. This isn't like get your certification by any means. This is just understanding from an energetic standpoint how to really embody your human design. This isn't just knowing it. I want you embodying it and really understanding it from your own viewpoint. So that's the first question. If you're like, yep, I've got it. I trust myself. I know exactly where I want to go, exactly what I'm creating, right? Cool. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, do you know what your unique selling point is? This is what makes you different from everyone else. It's really, it's <laughs> someone, another coach. There we go. Another coach can have the same solving the same problem with the same result, essentially, right? But you're both going to do it differently. And what you do differently is why people hire you. It's your bridge. If you think your client is on the one side of the canyon, you're standing in the other, your process, your system, your vision is this bridge over the canyon that's going to help them get the result that they want in a unique way, in a way they have never seen before, right? If you don't know what that is, that's your next thing to figure out is what is your unique selling point? How are you different than everyone else? This could be a signature process. It could be a signature system, those kinds of things. Um, My unique selling point is blending human design and copywriting. That's it. Like it doesn't have to be more complicated. But it does take some time to think about what is unique about you. How do you do things, right? And the one thing I want to say with unique selling point is that when you're first getting started as a coach, you often don't know what your unique selling point is. And so I don't want you to get hung up on the fact that you can't figure this out because you haven't worked with enough people. It does take working with people. Um, You can have an idea going in that I think this is what I do and I think this is what I'm really good at start there. That's all you need is just go, I think this is what it is. And I'm going to start with this. And then as you work with clients, as you refine that process and it does refine, then that's when it starts to be like, oh, well, now it's like more specific. And But you only get that through working with people. This is not a perfection system. This is like, You have to get your hands in the clay and do the work and work with people to figure out sometimes what your unique selling point is. Your human design can give you clues for sure, but it takes being with clients and working with them in order to really hone in on it. Okay. So I just want to say that. If you're like, I know exactly what I do. I know um, exactly what is unique about me. Then we go on to the next question. And the next question is, are you utterly obsessed with your offer and you know exactly what the transformation is and who it's for? If you can answer all of that, you're like, I know it's it's super specific and specific in meaning, benefits, like all of it. Like you've done a deep dive into the messaging behind your offer. You know exactly who it's for. You've done those research questions, you've worked with enough people, like it is honed in. Awesome. If you can't answer those questions, if you're like, I don't know, or I'm not all that obsessed with my offer, then this next step, this aligned offer is the next step. So what this looks like is saying, I want to offer something that is deeply aligned, right? And I truly believe that when we are in our design, in our energy, knowing what we are really good at, that the offer kind of presents itself. It kind of bubbles up to the surface and it's like, ooh, this is what I want to do, right? And then it's just a matter of figuring out who it's for, what is the transformation, 
all those other nitty gritty type mess- the messaging of that offer. So that's your next step is if you don't have that offer in place, it's figuring out what the messaging is around that specific offer. Then if you're so satisfied with that and you're like, this offer is amazing. I'm so excited to talk about it and get it out there. I know exactly what I do. I know who I am. I'm not following anyone else. Like I'm truly following my authority and building the business that I want. Then you go on to the next step. And the next question is, um, let's build out a funnel. (laughs) Let's build out this funnel, this offer ladder around this signature one, right? And what I mean by that is that we're creating a way of being visible. We're creating a client or a customer journey through it. And this can include uh, webinars. This can include your website. This can include sales pages and um, challenges and content marketing and all of those other pieces. No, you don't have to do all of those. It really depends on what you want your funnel to look like. And I was just talking with someone inside the cloud today about funnel and funnel strategy. And she's like, I really want to like rev up the marketing on my offer. And so we were talking through different things. And I truly believe that you can market things in any way you want. It really doesn't matter. Every way will work and every way won't work, right? It's what's going to work for you. And the way that has been the most beneficial to me and the way I teach my clients is that you keep in mind what you want. What are you building? What are you, what is this vision that you're going towards? Where are you going? What kind of business are you building? And then asking the universe of like, let's build this, right? And different marketing strategies will come into your world. You'll be invited you'll, to partake in something or somebody will invite you to be on their podcast or, and you'll start to see how all of these different pieces play together. And your funnel will literally start to take shape all on its own. This is what I've discovered in my own business is like, I don't have to quote, I, I do the work, I build, build the funnel, but the actual strategy behind the funnel happens on its own. Like I don't have to make it happen, if that makes sense. Um, It literally comes because I have this vision of where I'm going. I know what I'm offering. I know who I am. I know what I'm, what's unique about me, right? The strategy kind of starts to take care of itself. So then it's just like, okay, well, I know I... This is what the funnel is going to look like. So I'm going to need a sales page. I'm going to need some content. I'm going to need some emails, that kind of thing. And then you go and build out that. So I feel like this messaging map really gets rid of doing busy work and allows you to narrow or like focus in on exactly what you need to be doing right now and gets rid of the the noise, right? to be able to connect with your ideal clients, to attract the right people, to sell out your services, to be like just the beacon that people need you to be. And um, because I truly do believe that people need your services and you need to get them out there. That's the whole point of it. So again, I'll repeat those questions really fast. We're going to ask first, do I know who I am? Do I trust myself? Am I deeply in my own energy? Not human design. Next question is, do you know what's unique about you? Do you know what your unique selling point is? If you don't, USP, work. Am I obsessed with my offer and I know exactly what it is and who it's for? If not, offer work. And then do I know what my funnel is and how I'm bringing people in and giving them a client journey to working with me? If you don't, that's the work then is to figuring out which funnel, which marketing strategies are going to work for you. So I hope this was helpful in helping you figure out what that missing link is, where to focus if you're not getting people into your offers, if no one's responding on content. Like this is the um and I'm so excited that I'm, I'm putting together like all the details on uh, the different uh like 
trainings and all of that inside the club. And the club will be launching again in early September. So if you want, I send me a DM. I would love to chat about it with you. Um, but that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful week.